Hi, East Texas. Thanks for watching CBS 19 plus. Get ready for the cold air. It is just hours away. It'll be moving in Thursday afternoon and it sticks around right on through Saturday and into Christmas and then things will begin to moderate once we get back into next week. But this is the overall cold weather pattern and this is the setup for Friday morning. Strong low pressure over the Great Lakes. The counterclockwise flow around that low pressure system is tapping into some very cold air in northern Canada. In fact, that cold air source goes all the way back to Siberia. Drawn down into the central and southern United States, including here in East Texas. Notice the rapid winds aloft on top of that. So a couple of things we have to deal with here in the coming days. The cold air, very strong winds as the colder air moves in. And then once we get past this weekend, this warmer air out here in the West Coast will eventually move eastward and replace the cold air and we will get back to above average temperatures. So uh, the good news here then is that the cold air is pretty much a two to three day event and then gone, but it may return later this winter. We're not necessarily done with the colder air, but just to kind of give you an idea of what it'll look like tomorrow morning, 41 degrees. That's not so bad. It's Friday morning when we drop to eight. By the way, the record low Friday morning is zero, so we're not going to set any new record lows. 14 on Christmas Eve, 18 Christmas Day, upper 20s Monday, Tuesday around 27 degrees. Then we're popping into the upper 30s on Wednesday, and then look at the warm temperatures to round out the year. The 29th, 30th, and 31st, we're looking at lows in the upper 50s and low 60s with some rain and thunderstorm chances now showing up toward the tail end of that 10 day forecast. Wind again, an issue tomorrow with wind gusts close to 40 miles an hour out of the northwest. Breezy still on Friday, so some wind chill concerns there. Saturday, the winds become light. They're light on and variable on Sunday and back to some breezy conditions by next Tuesday. So really the day to be concerned about when it comes to the wind and you could even take this category up into the gusty range because I think we will have some gusty blustery winds closer to 40 miles an hour. But with all that wind, the temperature and the wind combined going to make it feel like it's five at Sulphur Springs tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock, 13 in Tyler, 16 in Carthage, Crockett, it'll feel like 21 at three o'clock in the afternoon. And even with the cold front moving through those harsh winds, making San Augustine feel like 27, but that's not the end of it. Take a look at this Friday morning wind chill values 5 to 10 below zero all across the area. Marshall, perhaps one of the colder spots along with Linden at nine below zero and Friday afternoon. Not much better. The wind chill still at around 12 to 13 degrees with these north winds breezy at about 15 to 25 miles an hour. So a breezy day Friday, cold day, despite some sunshine. Saturday, wind chill values are still around 14 before things start to warm up Saturday afternoon. So here's what we've had going on. Given the fact that we've got all this wind coming in and the cold air, and I just showed you the wind chills, starting at 6 p.m. Thursday through noon Friday, we have a wind chill advisory, and that covers basically all of East Texas. Uh, there is a wind chill warning in parts of Houston and Trinity County. And then when we take a look at the hard freeze warning that goes into effect Thursday evening at 6 p.m. till noon Saturday that covers the entire viewing area. The difference, of course, wind chill can have impact on your skin, hard freeze warning, impact on pipes and plants and uh, structures, any type of thing that could be impacted by temperatures below 20 degrees. It should kill any kind of outdoor plant weeds, anything that might have survived so far up into the spring. That'll be just wiped out. Some bugs will be wiped out. Some other bugs are hardier and can survive uh, temperatures up to 15 below zero. So we'll see what happens out of all of this. Anyway, Friday morning down to eight degrees above Longview, eight degrees above 14 at Lufkin. Uh, Friday morning, 14 at Groveton, 11 at Canton, 11 at Mineola, 11 at Gilmer. So just some bitterly cold air. So we have to uh, give you the four P's here for people, pets, pipes and plants. And I think this one's really going to impact all four of those in terms of offering shelter to uh, any homeless folks out there. Uh, certainly, if you are headed out, make sure to remind especially younger kids and older folks that they need some winter gear, heavier coats uh, as they will lose heat a little bit faster. Provide a warm, dry place for your pets to sleep. Open the cabinets, let the faucets drip. And if you do want to save any of those 
uh, tender plants, you need to either bring them inside or cover them as we will have some dangerously killing air outside. All right, so here's Future Skycast. This is Thursday morning at 6 a.m. Here comes the front light snow, little rain snow mix could just blow through East Texas. Probably not notice it except if you see just a few showers or maybe a snow shower. That's about it. By Thursday evening, the sky is clear. The winds are out of the north. And then as we head into Friday morning, we have just a little ribbon of clouds moving across the area with this little disturbance here that will cross the region on Saturday. It doesn't produce much more than clouds, though I think when it's that cold, you sometimes can squeeze out a snow flurry or two. So that would certainly be uh, not out of the question Saturday. All right, here's the three day Christmas weekend forecast. Mostly sunny then Friday, bitter cold 26 degrees. Saturday, mostly sunny. It stays cold. It's 14 in the morning, 34 in the afternoon. Christmas Day, it's warmer with a mix of sun and clouds, 18 in the morning and a high temperature around 40 degrees. Our 10 day temperature trend for high temperatures. Again, once we get past Christmas, temperatures are back close to 50 degrees Monday and Tuesday, lower 60s Wednesday, lower 70s Thursday, Friday. And for New Year's Eve, we have a temperature right around 66 degrees with a chance for some showers, maybe some thunderstorms. All right, here's the hour by hour forecast for Thursday. This is crucial or critical just because of how fast and how far the temperatures drop. 10 a.m. temperature, 46 degrees. There is a chance we sneak into the low 50s. And then the winds are out of the northwest at about 18 miles an hour. The temperature falls to 43 by 11 a.m. At noon, 38 degrees, 1 p.m., 33 degrees. By 2 o'clock, down to 31. By 3 o'clock, we're below freezing. We've got northwest winds sustained at around 25 miles an hour, and that will continue through the evening. So this is just a, a cold, cold air mass coming in here. All right, here's the Baylor Scott White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven day forecast and I just thought about something here. I just not have any of these on the right days, so just disregard that. But the first day of winter, of course, was today. Christmas Eve is Saturday. Christmas Day is Sunday, but the rest of the, the data should uh, line out here. Wintry mix possible with the cold front coming through eight Friday morning, 26 Friday afternoon, Saturday 34 for the high 14 for the low 18 uh, Sunday morning 40 then on Christmas, so again, Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then 49 Monday, 50 Tuesday with sunshine. And then as we look into uh, Wednesday, we've got a high of 60 degrees, 71 on Thursday, Friday, isolated thunderstorms, and Saturday, we've got more scattered showers and thunderstorms moving in on that seven day forecast. So uh, briefly colder here, Friday, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, then we start to warm back up. We'll see temperatures into the lower 70s by Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Thanks for watching CBS 19 plus. Make sure you take those uh, cold weather precautions tomorrow. Make sure you check back in the morning. We'll have another update here on CBS 19 plus to walk you through all the cold weather. And of course, we'll also update our forecast on CBS uh, CBS 19 TV. Have a great night, everyone, and thanks for watching CBS 19 plus.